the initial stage was considered as a prophase 1 or oh, sorry leptotene 1 this leptotene stage in the leptotene stage the condensation of the chromatin occur these condensation of the chromatin leads to the formation of the chromosome and these chromosome uh, appear different in case of the plants and appear different in case of the animal cells next stage is called as a zygotene stage and zygotene stage is that stage where pairing of the homologous chromosome occur and one of the chromosome they arise from the mother and another from the father maternal and the paternal uh, vice versa and after the pairing there is a formation of this blue color structure which has which you can see this is called as a synaptonemal complex right this is a zygotene stage <coughs> next stage we have is a pachytene stage as we know that the pairing has taken place now what will happen there is a formation of you can say the synaptonemal complex formation has taken place the tetrad chromosome they'll come closer and later on what happened the crossing over will occur now student what exactly the crossing over is as i've discussed in the previous class is that crossing over is a exchange of the segment of the chromosome between non sister chromatids of the homologous chromosome this is very 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 important so whenever there is an exchange of this non sister chromatids not whole but as a part of the non sister chromatids is exchanged between the homologous chromosome it leads to the formation of chiasma right so this was a pachytin stage in the uh, here i have uh, in the previous class i uh, was drawing a diagram that how this changes occur how this transformation occur from one chromosome to another students as i have told you that one of the part of this chromosome they'll cut from here it will cut from here it will join over there and the vice versa will occur this occurs students is because of the two enzymes which are very important one is called as a endonuclease and another is called as a ligase right when we were talking about some of the chapters uh, i have told you that the functions of endonuclease endonuclease students are those enzymes that cut a specific sequence of the dna from a specific places produces two type of ends one is called as a blunt end or the sticky end depending upon the enzymes which we are using right and another is that because i have made a cut in both of them now what's the time now it's time to rejoin them with the different ends like this will join over here and this will join over here for that i need another enzyme which is called as a ligase so two enzymes which we need is the endonuclease and another is the ligase right so this was the stage which is called as a pachytin now what will happen the another stage will appear that is called as a diplotene now diplotene students diplotene is that stage in which what happened the chiasma become visible now how this chiasma has formed chiasma has formed because of the chrome, uh, you can say the crossing over just because of that crossing over the chiasma has formed right chiasma formation occur right chiasma form due to crossing over between between what homologous chromosome or you can say the non sister chromatids of homologous chromosome non sister chromatids of homologous chromosome right 
and this stage the diploting stage is characterized by students it is characterized by dissolution of the synaptonemal complex dissolution of synaptonemal complex right now the dissolution has taken place what will happen the repulsion between the homologous chromosome will occur and they'll tend to separate right so i'm writing here repulsion between homologous chromosome between homologous chromosome occur repulsion occur and due to which there is a formation of x like structure because repulsion are occurring and that chiasma they try to come at the terminal end x shaped structure appear the x shaped structure appear due to terminalization right now look at this structure students these are the two chromosomes and what will happen the repulsion between them occur due to which initially it's like this they are very close to each other later on as they will segregate the x shaped structure will become visible over here and this x shaped structure is called as a chiasma and this chiasma is a product of crossing over right it's a what it's a product of crossing over initially students this crossing over has taken place but it was not visible during this stage only what happened when the repulsion will occur between them there are the x shaped structure will be clearly visible and that is called as a chiasma right x shaped structure appear due to terminal terminalization which is called as chiasma right so what actually has happened students the repulsion between the chromosomes the repulsion between the chromosome is a characteristic feature of the diploting stage right and in this stage only in this stage what happens uh, let's take in one example you must have heard about the human egg cell and it is said that that egg cell that remain in this diploting stages only up to 12 to 15 years right for example human egg remain in diploting up to 12 to 15 years and so it's a very long time right and it is that phase that remain in the diploting stage only right and after 12 to 15 years it again go into the another stage which is called as a dikinesis right so this is a a terminalization you need to remember the word terminalization and the formation of chiasma and chiasma is nothing this is just a x shaped structure right hope you have understood uh, this thing 
Now, let us draw the diagram. So, this is a picaitin and after the picaitin, diplotin stage will be formed, right. What will happen? I have drawn the two chromosome, one with the yellow and another with the red. As I have told you that chiasma formation has started, a X shaped structure will be visible and crossing over has taken place between them. Now, what is the reason is that some of the yellow part has come over here and some of the, this suppose, suppose this whole yell, yellow has come over here, right and this has a red color over here. That means the separation has taken place. This has got the red color, another has got the yellow color. Hope this distinction between the red and the yellow is vis clearly visible to you. Similar happens in this case also. This is a chiasma formation. X shaped structure, characteristic feature of this is yellow similarly this will be yellow and this is also a yellow right this is yellow similarly right and this is a red color, it is the red color and this will be having a yellow color over it, right. So, this is a, what is this? This is a chiasma, chiasma formation. There is a dissolution of the synaptonemal complex, right and terminalization occur and they will be having another layer that is called as a nucleus, nucleus membrane is still there, right. So, this is what, dip, this is a diplotene stage, diplotene and one thing, one more thing that I can write along with this is that terminalization, I am writing over here. of chiasma. Characteristic feature of the diplotene, right. So, when you have to study the chiasma, you have to study this particular stage which is called as a diplotene stage. Now, another we have uh, another you can say the fifth phase, I am drawing the diagram first, this is called as a dikinetic stage. Dikinetic stage is late, uh, is approximately same as that of the late prophase. In the dikinetic stage, what happened? The nucleus disappear. Similarly, the nucleolus also disappear, and the chromosome they are ready to maintain themselves at the metaphase plate because after this, the next stage is a metaphase. Right so now, what will happen? The disappearance of a dotted structure, or it's approximately disappeared right it will disappear and the chromosomes are now ready for the metaphase plate to arrange themselves at the metaphase plate they are not ready right and this is called as diakinesis Right. And now what will happen as the nucleolus is not there, the nuclear membrane is not there, they will arrange themselves to the periphery. Right. Now spindle formation has started occurring, uh, they are started forming in this phase only and 
the centriole has reached up to the terminal position now spindle fi fo formation or you can say the estral fibers which is made up of the microtubules and the microfilament they have started arranging themselves so that they can join with the help of centromere of the chromosome right so this is the diakinesis let's write about the diakinesis last stage which is called as a diakinesis diakinesis the original motive of starting this prophase is the condensation of the chromosome right and by this stage by the diakinesis stage the condensation of chromatin has completely taken place so first thing condensation of chromosome sorry chromatin completed in this stage only they completed right in the diploidian stage the x shaped structure was there that i called it as a chiasma and i have told you that the terminalization started <coughs> because they are repulsing each other right the homologous chromosome they are repulsing each other that's why the chiasma formation has taken place by the end of this diakinesis the repulsion has almost completed and you can say the terminalization has al almost completed terminalization of chiasma completed right and very important part as it is a prophase it's a type of the prophase so the nuclear membrane disappear right similarly as it is disintegrated similarly the nucleus also disappear nucleolus disintegrated right so these are the different stages as per the diakinesis is concerned that is the condensation of the chromatin has almost completed right condensation is important so that the proper separation could occur and second is the terminalization has also completed that is for the chiasma the x shape structure it has nothing to do with that it's just a name it is just a name which is given to the you can say a crossing over product it's just a name nothing more than that and nuclear membrane disappear and the nucleolus disintegrate and another in points as per the diakinesis is considered that is formation of spindle fibers formation of the spindle fiber right so these are the different stages of the diakinesis now diakinesis has completed spindle fibers attached on two now listen to this very carefully what we have is a spindle fiber and we know that the function of spindle fiber is moving the chromosome is to migrate the chromosome towards the opposite pole whatever the chromosome which is present in the center at the metaphase plate in at the starting of the anaphase they will start migrating to the opposite pole at the late anaphase they will reach up to the opposite anaphase they are discussing about the spindle fibers are attached to chromosome we know that but there is a one specific position on which these spindle fibers they are attached kinetochore centromere kinetosome and the telomere from all of these option we have to find one let's understand this with the help of a diagram this is a spindle fiber which is coming from one end and this is a spindle fiber again 
similarly on the opposite pole the same type of spindle fibers they are present now tell me one thing from the place from where the spindle fi this spindle fiber arise this is called as centriole so the centriole they are present like this they are present like this in the sp uh, spindle fiber they are attached to one specific position this is a chromosome this is how the chromosomes they are arranged this is how the chromosomes they are arranged chromosomes are attached at a specific position of chromosome and that is called as kinetochore in the chromosome the kinetochore region is present what are these these are centriole what are these spindle fibers of one end of one pole one pole and these are the spindle fibers of opposite pole similarly this is also a centriole which is present at another end and these all are enclosed in the membrane so our motive is solved kinetochore is that region at which the chromosome they attach themselves to the spindle fiber spindle fibers they are attached on the kinetochore of the chromosome so the correct option is option number a for first question let's look at the second question in this question i have tried to incorporate the different phases of a cell cycle let's talk about let's match the column 1 and the column 2 column 1 the g1 s g2 and g0 phase is there let's start with the g1 phase g1 phase is a starting phase that means it is that phase in which the cell has already completed one of the mitoses and now it has to enter into the second mitosis cycle that means first of all we have g1 phase then s2 s phase then g2 phase then m phase this is how the whole cycle goes on g1 s g2 and m phase cycle goes on like this let's come at the side we are discussing first we have as a g1 then s phase then g2 phase then we have is the m phase and again now g1 phase is that phase in which the first of all the cell has already undergone the mitosis now it has to enter into the g1 phase so that it can prepare itself for the s phase for you can say for synthesis phase and in synthesis phase the dna replication occur so this is a intermediate between mitosis and the s phase let's come back to the question again G1 phase is interval between mitosis and initiation of DNA replication. That means what is what do you mean by this? That means S phase. S phase, right? So the for, correct option for co in column number one for first one we have is a fifth option. Now let's look at the option. That means C and D they both are correct. Let's look for the another options. S phase is that phase in which the replication of the DNA occur this you have to remember how you can remember this that is it's the S phase that means synthesis phase for the B the correct option is the second op first option and this one seems to be correct so with this two only i have already concluded that this c option is the correct option but we will not stop here we'll discuss some more questions some more options G2 phase G2 phase is that phase in which basically what happens is that this is the C phase the G2 phase in which the replication of DNA occur 
And similarly, in the G2 phase, in the C phase, we have the protein synthesis occur because the DNA is already synthesized. DNA is there, now it's time to form the protein, now it's time to form those enzymes. In this phase, the CDKs, they are formed, they actually re regulate that it has to stop here or it, ha it has to shift into the another phase. So the correct option for the G2 is the protein synthesis. We are left with one. So in this, this is the fourth one, this is, a, this is right one. Let's look at the D uh, option. In the D option, the G0 phase is there. G0 phase is that phase that is called as a quiescent phase in which the no changes in the cell is going on. That means this is a quiescent stage. The correct option is option number two. So, correct option is option number C for question number two. Let's do the next question. Select the correct option with respect to mitosis. We are discussing about the mitosis. That means we are discussing about the somatic cells. Let's explore options. Option A states chromatids start moving towards opposite pole in telophase. We have studied the different phases prophase, metaphase, anaphase and the telophase. In the prophase, this what happens is that the chromatin fibers formation occur, the condensation, the chromatin, they start occurring. Metaphase, the chromosome, they start arranging themselves at the metaphasic plate or the center plate. After, the, after this, the anaphase come and they try to pull these chromosome towards the opposite pole. When the chromosome, they are moving towards the opposite pole, later on the last is called as a telophase. But the first one states that the chromosome start moving towards the opposite pole. No, in the case, the anaphase, they start moving towards the opposite pole. Anaphase. So, this is the wrong option. Golgi complex and the endoplasmic reticulum are still visible at the end of the prophase. No, not at all. They already become disappear. Chromosomes move to spindle fiber equator and get aligned along equatorial plate in the metaphase. Yes, we know that in the metaphase what happens, the chromosome, they arrange themselves at the metaphase and later on these kinetochores, they are, uh, these kinetochore, these chromosome kinetochore, they are attached with the spindle fibers and these chromosomes, they are stretched, they move towards the opposite pole. That means that this is the correct option. Let's look at the D option, chromatid separates but remain in the center of the cell in anaphase. No, in the anaphase, they start moving towards the opposite end. This is the question number three, correct option C. Let's look at the next question, question number four. Which one of the following event occur during the G1 phase? As I have already told you, the whole cell cycle is divided into four different phases. G1 phase, S phase, G2 phase and M phase. G0 phase is a separate phase, but normally we say the four phases uh, are there because we are talking about the cell cycle. G1 phase is that phase in which the cell is stable, that means no as such the DNA synthesis is occurring. Synthesis occur in the S phase, protein synthesis occur in the G2 phase. Mitosis, the separation of the chromosome, the formation of the two cells occur. Let's explore the options. DNA replication, DNA replication occur in the S phase. Growth and the normal functioning of the cells. Yes, this is the right option. Mutation, is that so the mutation happens? No, not at all. It's not related to mutation, it's not at all related to fertilization. Correct option is option number B for question number 4. Let's explore the next question, question number 5. A somatic cell that has just completed the S phase of its cell cycle as compared to gametes of the same species has. Now, they are discussing about the number of the chromosome and amount of the DNA. That means A indicated that twice the number of the chromosome and twice the amount of the DNA. We have to discuss the two cells. One is a somatic cells and another is a gamete cells. And we have to discuss that after this S phase, what will be the number of the chromosome and what will be the amount of the DNA which is present in them. Let's understand this question with the help of uh, one chart. 
suppose this is a normal somatic cell. These are the number of chromosome and this is the amount of DNA. number of chromosome and amount of DNA. In case of the somatic cells, the mitosis occur, number of the chromosome, they remain same. This is also called as an equational division. Let us see the number of the chromosome in this case is N and the number of the DNA in this case is a X1, X sorry. Let us do this for haploid or they are discussing about the gamut. In the gamut, we know that the number of chromosomes, they are half in number. That means out of this whole, the only the n number of the chromosomes, they are present and they have an equal amount of the DNA. After this synthesis, the number of the chromosome, they remain same, but the number of the DNA, the amount of the DNA, they double because we are discussing about the, this, uh, we are discussing about uh, these S phase. In the S phase, the amount of has just completed and as compared to the gamete, the same species has, they will be having the same number of the chromosome, but because the S phase has occurred, the chromosome number will be doubled. In this case, the chromosome number is will be doubled. As somatic cells are there, that means the number of the chromosome in this case will be 2n, whereas in case of the DNA, that will be 2x is there. Whereas in case of the gametes, this is will be n and this will be x. We are discussing about the somatic cell, the number of the S uh, chromosome in S phase and etc. The chromosome number, they remain constant. Because S phase has happened, that means the number of the DNA will be 4 times because they will increase and synthesis of these chromosomes, they, uh, synthesis of DNA occur in the S phase. So let us look for the options. A indicated the twice the number of the chromosome and twice the amount of the DNA. No, this is not the right option. Same number of the chromosome, not at all. Twice the number of the chromosome and four times the amount of the DNA. This is the correct option because we are discussing about these somatic cells and we have to discuss after this S phase. So the correct option is 2N and the 4X.